Hi everyone. Let's draw some daffodils today. I got two pots of daffodils earlier in the spring and used them as live references for this sketch. So I filmed this a while ago. The flowers are long gone by now, but hopefully some of the bulbs will flower again next year. I'll talk you through this drawing so you can follow along or hopefully get some tips. I would call this a botanical style realistic sketch. Not photorealistic, but also not that simplified. And with botanical I mean that I'm not drawing the flowers in a vase or a flower pot or as part of a landscape, but rather just the flowers on their own and even a couple of flower bulbs so you can see the whole plant. I list and link below the art supplies I used as well as this book that I think is very useful if you want to sketch or paint more flowers. It's the Flower Painter's Essential Handbook by Jill Bays. I found this years ago from the library and keep borrowing it again from time to time. It has tips on drawing and painting lots of different garden flowers and wildflowers as well. I started by sketching the outline of the first daffodils with a mechanical pencil. So they have the tube in the middle and six flower petals forming a circle around it. I drew a few flowers from different angles so I get the two from the top or the front and from the side. And some of the stem as well. I refined the sketch with a pencil by adding lines where the shadows are to get the texture of the petals. You can draw a circle as a guide so it's easier to place the petals. And after you're done sketching out the petals, you can erase the circle. I also drew a couple of them with the flower bulbs and one with just the flower bud. I also drew some curved leaves around the stem and one bulb with just the leaves coming out of it before the stem and the flower come out. So basically I drew daffodils in different stages of flowering. I molded a kneaded eraser and used it to clean up the sketch. It's handy since you can mold it into a sharp point to erase thin lines for highlights and it doesn't produce eraser dust since it's absorbing the graphite. But you can use a regular eraser as well. I added some texture on the flower bulbs and continued by refining the sketches and then started shading large areas with a light pencil at first and continued with a softer pencil for darker shading. I also added darker outlines with a mechanical pencil to make the shapes more prominent. But if you want to go for a more realistic style, then maybe leave out the outlines. I was turning the flower pots around when I was sketching different flowers, so the shading is not consistent throughout this drawing. But then again, the flowers are just floating around, there's no background, so they're not connected to each other anyway. I think this type of drawing or study would work as a pattern design and I might in fact make a repeating pattern out of this. If you want to make a repeat pattern of your art, then click on the video on the screen. Thanks for watching, bye!